Hey guys, welcome back to Tony Zartus. In this video, I'll be showing you how to check and remove plagiarism online. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So we all know checking and removing plagiarism on a simple text can be really hard. But in this case, I'll be showing you some tips and tools that you could actually use to uh, basically check for plagiarism. Now, in this case, uh, we all know that the use of AI to generate text can be something really helpful for us. But currently, uh, there are going to be or there are reports that some uh, prompts or sorry, some results from ChatGPT are being tagged as uh, plagiarized content. Now, in this case, how do we actually check and remove those type of text? Well, in this case, uh, one of the tips for you to ensure that you don't or you will not get plagi uh, you will not get tagged for plagiarism is to simply uh, paraphrase or change a few things on the text that you'll be getting from ChatGPT or from your work. So if you're not using AI, make sure that you check your work first. Now in this case, it is suggested that a certain uh, elements on your paragraph or in your work should be paraphrased especially if you've gotten a, a text from somewhere make sure that you only got inspiration on it meaning it is only inspired and you are or you're explaining the whole content yourself now in this case what if it's from chat gpt and you don't have much time on checking for plagiarism well, another way for you to check plagiarism is online tools. So there's actually a lot of tools that you could check online to see if a content is actually plagiarized. So one of those contents is, or one of those platforms is going to be Qtex. Now Qtex here is a checker that you could use online to check for plagiarism. Now they have a pre-plan that you could actually use and a pro plan that you can actually subscribe to for you to start using their services. Now in this case, what you need to do first is you need to go to qtex.com, which is uh, their plagiarism website here. So make sure to include the following plagiarism checker and put here. In this case, once in their website, what we need to do is we just need to enter our text here. And once you've entered your text, we are now ready to check for any plagiarized content. So let's go and click on the check for plagiarism. And from here, it's going to start checking that. Now, remember that you only have 500 texts of free uh, text for you to actually check for plagiarized content. So this might take a while for you to uh, basically get a result on it. So let's just wait for it to uh, get the result. Now, in this case, once uh, the uh, analysis or the checking is now complete, you'll get the following pop-up here. So any under underlying text represents a potentially plagiarized phrase or sentence. So you need to click on the underlying text to see matching sources. In this case, let's go ahead and click on the next here, or you could just basically end the tour here. Now, as you can see, there's going to be a lot of sections here that we have that is actually going to be a plagiarized content. Now, the great thing about Qtex here is, is you could actually also see the sources of the following text. Like for example, when we actually click on this sec section, you'll be able to see the website and where it, act it is actually uh, came from. Now, in this case, this one is actually really cool because you can even see the sources for it. Now, in this case, you could go ahead and just click on everything that you see here. Go ahead and check that. And from here, you should be able to uh, change or uh, plan ahead on how you could go ahead and update certain content. Now, again, depending on the content work that you're currently working on, you might want to consider uh, checking sources or make sure that you indicate your sources whenever you submit your work. Now, another website or a platform that you could use here for checking for plagiarism is going to be Grammarly. Now, Grammarly is a free tool that you could use online, which in this case, we could go ahead and start using. Now, whether you want to enter the text manually here or you could upload a file if you want to as well. But in this case, I'm just going to input the same text that we got. So let's go ahead and enter it in here. And from here, let's go ahead and click on scan for plagiarism. Now, the great thing about Grammarly here is Grammarly is a well-known platform, which in this case, they have an ex uh, extensive database uh, regarding uh, different types of work online. So meaning uh, you most likely would have like results 
uh, that would actually match for plagiarism if there are any. Now, for example, there's a significant plagiarism found. Now, and th there's also additional writing issues. Not only just checks for plagiarism, it also checks for spelling, conciseness, word choice, grammar, which is something really cool if you want to further improve your uh, content or your work here. Now, in this case, you could go ahead and uh, get Grammarly here if you want to start or if you are ready to start using it again. And for the free version for Grammarly here, you actually have 10,000 words that you could use. Oh, sorry, 10,000 letters, if I'm not mistaken here, that you could use to basically check for plagiarism. Now... In this case, what if Grammarly is not available to you as well as Qtex? So there's still another one that you could use here, which is going to be plagiarismdetector.net. So this one is a website dedicated for checking any uh, plagiarism work or uh, there are going to be plagiarism uh, in certain content. So in this case, we have actually a thousand words limit on this one. So let's just go ahead and start using it and enter our checks in this section here. And what we need to do next is we need to click on check plagiarism here. Now, in this case, you could also check for grammars here if you want to, which is something really cool that they have here on their website. So this might take a while. So in this case, same thing with Qtex and in plagiarism that uh, detector.com this might take a while because again there's going to be a lot of works online and they also have an extensive database that they should be that they have to compare the text that you have right now so let's just wait for it to complete analyzing now in this case once uh, the uh, analysis is complete you should be able to see at the very bottom the plagiarism scan report now in this case it's going to give you number of characters words sentences and speak time which is around two minutes here and also the uh, pl plagiarized sources here as you can see since we imported the uh, following text here it says that's 100 percent unique so if, you, uh, if, uh, if there are any plagiarized content, this is where you'll be able to see it. Now, again, these three platforms are actually quite different themselves. So meaning uh, some sources, my, uh, one platform can have uh, different kind of sources or one platform might not have access on certain access. So that's why the uh, content or the results that you'll be seeing here can be different depending on the platform that you're using. So whenever you're checking for plagiar or plagiarized content or plagi uh, pl for plagiarism online, it is actually uh, suggested that you use multiple platforms just to be sure. Now, as you can see, for this one, they didn't detect any uh, plagiarized content. It just says 100% unique. They also have, an, in Grammarly, they also mentioned that there's a significant number of plagiarism in here, as well for Qtex. That's why cross-checking on different platforms is going to be some or one of the great tricks or tips that we could give you whenever you're checking for plagiarized content. Now, in this case, those are the platforms that you could actually use to check for plagiarism. But yeah. So whenever you're checking for plagiarism, whenever you detect, detected something, make sure that you change your content. Uh, make sure that you uh, indicate your uh, actual sources. Whenever you're copying uh, something uh, online, make sure that you explain it in your own terms and indicate your sources. Don't copy the whole text itself whenever you're uh, doing your work. But that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.